showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to leave the dance and leave the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he steps to the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, Dr. Kujan. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, shot down. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. He's back in the flip position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you're starting to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Big punch lands. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice counter shot there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Wow, vicious uppercut. Oh, straight right. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He blocks the shot. Look at 
kind of working at trying to shut the liver down. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. And both guys really flowing with authority. Right hand punch to the clinch. Over and over he landed these big body kicks. Just missed with the leg kick. Whip his hip into that kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. Beautiful body kick lands right over the elbow. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. But you don't know until the guy's in front of you hit takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Just over three minutes to go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. Two minutes now to go on the round. His words are going to stand Well, he's got his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, and there it is. One of the best back takers in the sport took his back there. Now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble because he will take his time. He will start to force him into making mistakes. He'll punch, punch, punch. The moment the guy starts worrying too much about the strikes, he will take his neck and try to find the submission victory. Oh, right in the mouth. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. <laughs> Ten oh, minutes oh, in the oh. books. really broken down with your striking. Keep that going. Inside low kick is while right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. 
What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. Punch coming, it's blocked. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when you... Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Big elbows! Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. How do you get out of harm's way here, I mean, DC? you gotta shove that knee, John. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Just misses with the left hook. his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that hand. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, single collar tie now. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 9-28, 30-26, and 30-26. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, 